Take me from the beginning. Uh, uh, what gave you the idea, and how long did it take you to make this creation? Um, well, the idea was I always liked uh, challenging buildings in Lego, and I've made quite a few already. But then a couple of my friends suggested the horseshoe, and although they th thought I'd never do it because it was pretty hard uh, with all the curves, I decided to do it. So five years ago, I started collecting the bricks. I started drawing the plants, making some pictures of the stadium just by walking there during lunch and snapping some shots. But I only started actual building about two years ago. Uh, just less than two years ago and finished it uh, January 1st this year. Already you've gotten some, some response just from what you've posted on the internet. I mean, people seem to love this thing. Uh, yeah, there's a, a whole lot of people that love it. Uh, some Michigan fans don't like it as much, but they do still appreciate the workmanship that went into it. Um, there's uh, many positive comments on, on the various websites that posted the, the, the stadium. I'm happy about that. How many hours would you say you spent? I mean, I, I assume you didn't do it every day or did you no i didn't do it every day i did it in spurts uh, mainly in the weekends i get up at five even in weekends and my, the rest of my family gets up at about nine so from five to nine in uh, every day that's that's about four hours in uh, saturday and four hours sunday so that's eight hours a week and then i added maybe an hour here an hour there so roughly 10 hours a week for about two years it's it's about a thousand hours wow what do you plan on doing with it um, I hope to display it somewhere at OSU, and I'm actually trying to use it for fundraising. I'm a researcher at Ohio State uh, researching heart failure and muscular dystrophy. So I try to use this stadium to um, appeal to donors, and maybe uh, if a donor makes a donation to the research program that me and my colleagues have, maybe I can put a, a little Lego fig in their name into the stadium, and then over time try to fill it up and with the money use it for medical research. How in the world will you get this thing out of the basement? Um, if you look closely, you see some seams in the stadium. So I can actually take it apart into about uh, 10 sections plus the field. And each section uh, weighs about 40 to 60 pounds. So I should be able to carry each section uh, up and transport it to somewhere to set it up. And of course, no pressure on trying to make sure you transport it without it breaking apart. Yeah, I, I try to build it uh, pretty sturdy, so uh, it was kind of designed to be transported, so the inside of the stadium is completely solid. Uh, both the base and the stands, everything is solid, so uh, even if it would drop, it would probably break into a couple of major sections, whereas if I would have built it hollow, it would have shattered into to many, many small bits. So uh, I'm pretty, I'm convinced I can transport it without too much problem. Uh, what do you build next after this? Um, I don't really have plans. Uh, on the outside of the stadium, there's a, a couple of um, uh, squares that I can fill, so I'm going to build some smaller things. So not nearly a million bricks, maybe a thousand bricks, so uh, relatively small things. I'm, I'm trying to think of uh, things that are football-related, such as the uh, National Championship Trophy, or maybe a little, like, one-foot-tall statue of the Heisman Trophy, uh, things like that. So I'm not planning anything big uh, for the next... Um, couple of months, years, uh, but you never know what, what challenges provide themselves. And How many bricks did you say were in this? Uh, close to a million bricks. Uh, the, it, the, most of them are in the base because the field of Ohio Stadium is actually lower than the surrounding street level. So at first I had to build a base that's about three inches tall and to make it sturdy I built it completely solid with many little plates. So that that's why the piece count is so high. I got you. And I mean even the field is Lego. Yeah, the field is Lego, and, and in order to get all the, the numbers and the smoothness in the field, I use them sideways. So throughout the stadium, I've built some bricks traditionally in upward fashion and some sideways or some upside down. And for some bricks, even the back of the brick looks better than the front of the brick. So I turn them inside out. It's amazing. I mean, how much planning did you have to put in? Um, for some sections, a lot of planning, like the, the curved sections was, was very challenging, but then the south stands, because they're pretty much straight, they're, they're very easy. So I can build the south stands in, in just a couple of days without much planning, but for the, to get the round shape right, I needed quite a bit of planning. So uh, on some sections, I spent more time planning than actual building. And I noticed that there are no stickers, really. I mean, you did this all with Legos, right? Yeah, I, that's one of the things that I set out to do. Uh, I wanted to use only Lego brand uh, elements and bricks. Uh, no glue, no string, no stickers. Uh, I didn't want to cut pieces or, or, mo or file them down. Or, uh, so I just wanted to use, uh, want to constrain myself with uh, the Lego bricks that were at hand. What made you decide Legos? I mean, I'm looking around your basement here. You've got quite a few Lego boxes, and it's obvious 
is a big hobby for yeah, you. Yeah, as a kid, I was my my favorite toy. I grew up with it. Um, and when I uh, got to be, uh, when I came to the U.S. about ten years ago, uh, I I found my childhood bricks. And and meanwhile, we had kids, so my boy liked it, and we basically started getting into it. And then I noticed that there's many more adults. There's tens of thousands throughout the U.S. that that build creations out of Lego. Not all this big, but um, when I when I met a whole bunch of them, we actually formed a club in Central Ohio, and then um, uh, there were about 30, 40 people that built like skyscrapers, houses, trains. So it, it's a it's a hobby that's uh, that's rapidly spreading.